Hello YouTube, Jar of Bricks here with another mock. Now as you can see, I have removed my docks. It was on three of the big base plates. So I'm going to start developing uh, the base plate over there. Although it's on one of the bigger base plates, it's probably going to be around about 32 by 32 uh, because a lot of it goes under the railway track and also I can only go so, so high uh, because of the roof part. Okay so this is my ground floor design. I wanted to have the um, octan colors of green, red and white so that's why I put a mat at the bottom although it looks like a, a Bulgarian flag but that's what the colors are and also wanted to have the um, perimeter around the top above the door in the same colors. Uh, with regard to the sign, um, just use the standard octan sign and then the cup, if you're wondering where that sticker came from, um, when I went to the Lego shop before lockdown, um, just before Christmas, I got a Christmas pack, which gave me lots of wrapping paper and cards and stickers. And one of those stickers um, had a purple cup on it so I thought why don't I use that in my octan cup factory with regard to the style of brick I did try different styles um, I put them on Instagram to see uh, which everybody felt was the best color and this came out trumps which was quite good because I had quite a few of them in one by two um, medium nugget modified to the brick pattern and one by four so I was able to use that as well. I've got the um, no parking loading zone sign at the bottom um, and that's from the stickers pack from the official Lego stickers pack there. So going around to the outside here this is just going to be the entrance sign. Um, I've put um, these here and these are for um, air conditioning units and I've got one there as well um, which I will install on a later date. And if you saw my um, last tutorial video, it was only like the two minute one, uh, it was how to make um, the canister which hooks up onto the side, which I've already done and I will show you in a moment. And then uh, just keeping the theme of the octane color. And this came with um, the petrol station city set from last year. So it's a little bit difficult to fit this on because of the size of the base plate and the edge of the table being so close to the, well, the edge, weirdly. Um, so I'll have to do it side on. Canisters that I made, which are here. So if you're wondering how I made this, as I said, there's a two minute tutorial video that I put on and you can see it on. So that's, that's just the, um, the cylinder pieces and I just put the sticker on it and it just sits on there and then that plugs in like so and then here and those pipes uh, will go up into the second floor uh, or the first floor should I say um, when that is done. I haven't finished this area yet um, as I want to see it in, in, in location uh, before I build anything there just to uh, trial it all out. Uh, so let me show you what I've done on the inside. Okay, so starting at the reception area, show you through the windows. Not that you can see very well because reflecting the light. Um, we have um, at the back there just a little shop, uh, a sample of the type of cups that Octan make and the colour variations. Uh, we have our receptionist there drinking out of one of those cups and then the little um, water dispenser here and you can go through either door. You've got a door that side and you've got a door that side which takes you through to the factory or or the loading bay should I say or the one to the stairs which takes you to the manufacturing floor so what else do we have here 
So we have a choice when we come through that door to go through another door into the loading bay or we can go up the stairs up to the manufacturing area. Right now we're just going to check out the uh, loading bay. So it looks like previously they've had a, a manufacturing the yellow cups and they're all stocked up and um, boxed up and ready to ship out. As you can see, there's a window behind, the, so you can see the receptionist, and that's just so as when people come into the factory for the first time, they can see how busy um, and what goes on in the loading bay. Here, you've got this pipe here, which is from the canister on the outside, which all lines up, and then that is going to go up directly into the first floor when the first floor is on. Okay, so this is going to be the final location of the Octan Cup factory. Um, as you can see from this corner here, it's going to go up and not hit the roof. It doesn't look like it will there, but I assure you it will from where it is. Um, these pipes are a little bit messy, but they will attach here when the first floor is completed. And um, these areas here will have air conditioning units built on so it will um, look a little bit more finished once it's completed and you notice though that um, it overhangs on the road plate there and that is because i fully intend to replace all of these with the new road plates uh, which goes into about that size which is fits perfectly so um, that's why it's overhanging at the moment um, and you'll notice what you would have noticed in the previous um, videos that I showed you when it was on the desk is that I haven't done the back or the side and that is because where I've got the lights located above there uh, it will shine through the empty walls and because I want to have um, lots of windows all the way up and windows on the side here it'll all be lit up so you'll be able to see the ingoing um, mechanics of how cups are made through the windows and I hopefully think that it'll look pretty cool once it's complete. So let me know what you think of the Octane Cup Factory so far. Any, um, excuse me, every, any suggestions that you feel I should try to implement, please uh, suggest away and I'll do my best to uh, implement them. So thank you very much for watching and I will be back soon. Goodbye.